Here's <laughs> the Diamondbacks, and, uh, certainly an important game for them, and they have to face a guy who is not – whose season is not over. I mean, he's pitching for, uh, you know, I, I don't think he can win a Cy Young Award, but he just continues to pitch very, 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 very well this season. Uh, one of the better pitching matchups here of the day, certainly with Senga, twenty, And the total is now way down. I don't know, maybe this was an error or an overnight line. I'm showing it 7 over 15, a full Seven. run. Yeah, full run lower than what was listed on the screen there right now. This one is uh, getting slammed here to the under uh, today. I don't, I don't see any seven and a halfs out there. Huh. Uh, interesting, uh, you know, move there. Uh, I just kind of feel like uh, Muriel Kelly is not the same pitcher if you look at his home and road splits. That's kind of the big deal here for me. Uh, his opponents hit uh, 262 uh, on the road uh, against him compared to 186 at home. He faces basically 27 fewer batters at his home park. Uh, in his last road start, he did do okay. Uh, but, yeah, I just kind of think this is going to be a Mets day. I think this is going to be Senga. He's been dominant at City Field, a .186 batting average uh, there on his uh, home field. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if I look at, uh, you know, again, Senga versus the Diamondbacks, 222 average. Uh, you got Kelly versus the Mets, specifically 407 average. So doesn't pitch well versus this Mets team. Give me the Mets today. All right, take the Mets with Senga. You laid it out just fine there, certainly because of his uh, uh, splits or his overall body of work. It doesn't have to be home or away. Yeah, maybe he is better at home. Listen to some of these numbers, though. I mean, talk about this move, uh, a full half a, a full half a run there uh, to the under uh, in this one because you have uh, Senga has gone under in 17 of his last 22 starts. Kelly's <laughs> gone under in seven of his last nine starts. The Mets have gone under in 15 of their last 24, and Arizona's gone under in nine of their last. What well, under you've been talking about, Ramon? Uh, That's a lot. Under. Nets is a home favorite goes under. Diamondbacks is a road dog trends under uh, for the most part. Sharps seem to love the. I mean. Uh, I mean, I want to totally, I, I totally want to just be Mr. Contrarian here. I mean, uh, how low can this total go? Uh, there is some seven over 25s, actually. So uh, maybe the price isn't as low as it says there. Maybe it's seven over 20 in general. But let's see if the chat wants to go under or they want to go Arizona or the Mets like Mindy here with Frankie. On Arizona. On the Mets. On the okay. Lazy Love on the Mets. I love it. All right. <laughs> here are the gang on the Mets. Just a roll of Mets coming in the chat here on this one when we know uh, the Mets are Dunsky. <laughs> and uh, there was a an issue. Of, let's see. What was it? Um, I think. Uh, uh, some issue with uh, my man uh, Brent Strom. Um, what was that story that broke? Uh, let me see if they. Oh, uh, he was. Yeah, he was talking. The Diamondbacks pitching coach Brent Strom. Uh, I'm a big fan of his when he was pitching with the Padres when I was a kid. But he wow. was ripping the Mets pitching staff, Mets uh, broadcasters. For some of their comments about uh, what they said on the air. You know, it's probably something you shouldn't get into, but all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, in this one, I'm going to, I'm going to be Mr. Contrarian here. I'll say this one finds a way to get over. Everything's going under in this game. The sharps are going under and I'm just going to, I'm taking over. I don't, I can't, you know, you know I love saying, uh, I'm just trying to, I'm looking for this to get into the bullpen. I hope that it is against Merrill Kelly. Uh, he, Arizona's one and four in his last five road starts. So that you talk about some of the road woes. Mindy on the Mets. I'm going contrarian. I'm going over. 